Hello guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video on my channel. Sorry guys, I have been a bit busy with personal life and what has been going on in work and I'm trying to learn how to make small indie pixel art game which is quite hard to do at the moment. So yeah, I'm back to making more of these videos and I've got another video which is going to come out very soon. It's a detailed analysis on a concept within Resident Evil Universe. So if you do like that sort of content, do make sure to stick around because I'm going to be making more of that content on my channel. So let's talk about today's video which is related to a new update which has been added by Bluebity for Silent Hill 2 Remake. So without wasting any time, let's dive into this video. And as always, if you do end up liking this video, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can make more of this content for you guys. It goes without saying that Silent Hill 2 Remake is a quite polarizing game at the moment. There's a lot of fans who are still fully supporting the game with what has been going on, including myself, and still feeling optimistic that we will be getting a good product at the end from Bluberty. However, there's a lot of Silent Hill fans who are still not buying into the concept of getting a remake, especially from Bluberty, from the history of the games they've been making. And since they saw the trailer, which shows a clunky combat mechanics on that trailer footage. So I think there is a valid reason for why they're feeling that way. Now since that time, Bluebird team has been working hard, they've taken the criticism on board and they have been quite vocal by seeing that Konami hasn't been advertising this game properly because what they showed that footage was actually from the old build. And they're kind of asking fans to wait and see what we're going to show you as a final product from ourselves. So at the moment, we don't have an official release date and we don't know when we're going to be seeing Silent Hill 2 Remix. We know the Bloober team is now taking the feedback on board and working very hard to make sure this game is above the average. Because if the game doesn't turn out to be good for a small indie developer and a popular title like Silent Hill 2 Remake, it's actually going to ruin their reputation and it's going to be very hard for them to recover. There has been rumours which has been confirmed by Snitch or Jeff Grubb which confirmed that it's going to be a PlayStation showcase in May which is going to be the next couple of weeks and we're eventually going to be seeing Silent Hill 2 Remake in that event. And this would be the perfect time for them to showcase the final build of the game as they claimed the trailer we saw was from the old build and I think that would be the time for them to convince the fans to buy into this remake they're working on. Now prior to this trailer they have just made some changes on the Steam page and on that Steam page they actually changed the look of James Sunland as how it looked from the trailer compared to what it looks now. And to be honest I didn't have a problem from the original look of what they gave to James Sunland but I do appreciate this new look because it represents with the original look from the Silent Hill 2. Because in the original Silent Hill 2 scene where James looked at himself through the mirror, he has a very cold expressionless face. And I think with the recent change they've made, they're kind of trying to mirror that. Now this is a massive change compared to the original announcement trailer where you've seen James Sunderland is showing so many expressions through that footage. Whereas in this photo, he looks a bit more expressionless, cold and kind of lost character who's still doubting at the actions what he's doing right now. So I'm pleased with the steps they've taken because I want Silent Hill 2 Remake to do great. And let's say the game doesn't turn out to be excellent I want this game to be at least good so they can continue this franchise and revive this franchise so we can get Silent Hill games just like we get in Resident Evil games. And I do personally think the new trailer they're going to show, I think we'll be seeing more of a gameplay footage where they're going to showcase how the game actually looks like rather than showing a snippet of the gameplay footage. So what do you guys think about this new look? Do you buy into it or do you still sitting at the edge and you still think the Silent Hill 2 remake is not going to turn out to be great please do let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section down below in this video and that's it for the video guys i'll catch you again with another video on my channel until then look after yourself have a good one